This is Shadowlink 1907. Why, hello everyone, this is Shadowlink1907 here, and welcome to Possibly Mindfucked, Episode 2. And if you have no idea what Possibly Mindfucked is, well, I talk about things that may or may not mindfuck you or not. Maybe they may be ordinary things, I could eventually, I'll explain it in such a convoluted way, I don't even know what convoluted means, that you won't even know what I'm talking about, I may mindfuck you. There may be a chance I might not mindfuck you, though. But in the first episode, I got some responses saying that apparently I was able to do so to some people. So, alright, let's go. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about destiny versus decisions. Now before I start talking about this, let me just say that I thought about this a little bit myself, and I kind of got myself into a little bit of a mind fuck. So, what I mean by destiny versus decision is basically free will versus... versus your predetermined future so in other words your future with destiny your future is set it's like you know i i know I, everyone watching this video has at least had to hear once it's your destiny to do this you can't avoid it you have to do this it's like it's your destiny to grow up that's that's kind of true everyone ages so it's like you don't really have control of what you're doing. It's basically everything set by predetermined events that were set up long before you were born and stuff. Just some outside force that just says, you know what? This is your destiny. And this is what's going to happen on this day, on this hour, on this second. And that's basically why we have future tellers. Because future tellers, you know how future tellers are like? They just predict your future because they believe that there is destiny, that they're, that your life is set by destiny or an outside force or whatever now with decision on the other hand y this is all about free will like you know i can do what i want with my future it doesn't fucking matter no no, well, no one controls my decisions i control my decisions what i do is completely based on my faults and my faults only what i do good is good and what i do bad well that's bad <laughs> i did i'm i made a bad decision i was not predetermined to make that decision i just made a bad decision so that's basically what destiny versus decision is all about. All right, now that we know what it's all about, let's get into my thoughts on this matter. So what do I believe in? Do I believe in destiny or do I believe in making my own decisions? Well, I believe in both. <laughs> it's like, no, how can you believe in both? Have a predetermined future and also at the same time make your own decisions. Does that even make any sense? At all, Shadow, are you drunk? Are you, are you stupid? Are you retarded? Did you have, like, a little bit of everything to drink before you kind of made this video? And the answer to that question is no. I know I know exactly how to explain this. I'm not just going to say I believe in both. Because why not? Hashtag yellow swag 420 blaze. All right, so let me explain here. Okay, so the way I'm going to explain this is actually going to be pretty simple. And I don't think I'll be really mind-fucking anyone this episode but anyways what I mean by believing in both destiny and decision is that I believe that predetermined events are are real they're in this world but the way that you handle them or the way that you decide what to do in these events is really all up to you like I believe things are inevitable things can not happen like death Death is inevitable, guys. We, there's no such thing as this fountain of youth that you will live forever and return young if you bathe in it, or drink it, or rub it all over your nipples. No. There is no such thing as that kind of bullshit. So then we come to the inevitable question. What do you do before you die? What do you plan to accomplish in your life? What do you plan just to do? What is your bucket list? Like, what you do before you die, that's up to you. But whatever challenges you face, people you meet, events that happen, just the way things go for you, I feel like that is up to an outside force, the world itself, or whatever you would like to call it. Okay, hopefully I've made that somewhat clear in a way. But let me just jump around the subject a little, and let's, let's talk about future tellers for a moment. Fortune tellers, or whatever you want to call them 
I don't believe them. I don't believe them for crap. I really don't. Because really the tricks, really the trick of being a f fortune teller is you just get to know the person a little bit. Just, you know, by the actions, the movements they take, just get to know like ask like asking them where they're from or just you know what a little bit about them they future tellers they generally a good one will generally get to know you easily with that with very little information they will take then said information twist it a little bit to kind of see where you would go in life it's like oh you you were going to go to this college and be a very successful person. And you're like, wow, she even got like a, the type of college I'm going to write. Maybe I will be a successful person. Yeah. And then you just realize, and then you just realize like me, they're like, oh yeah, so this is what they do. God damn, I, I hate them. It's like, no one really can predict your future. Everyone's future is just unknown. You just don't know. You really will just never know. However, thinking about what I just said, how, you know, events are kind of predetermined and choices you make is really up to you, you can kind of come to this kind of conclusion. You know those video games that are just like, oh, yeah, if you choose this road, then you get the bad ending. But if you choose this road, you get the good ending, and everything's so happy and everything, and oh, yay, I beat the game in the greatest way ever, yeah, without any walkthroughs, I'm so good, 2 pro, MLG, and... That's basically kind of what life is when I think about it. It's like you have these events predetermined. It all starts with your birth. You have no choice. You're, you're born, and then, you know, choices just come from there. I mean, you may not be old enough to make cho some choices, but then again, you know, that video, video games are unfair sometimes. <laughs> so pretty much you're just given choices. It's like you go from point A, and then you choose point B or C. Which one do you want to go to? B, okay. So now that you're at point B, which which point do you want to go to? D, E, or F? It's like, oh, F. You die. The end. <laughs> Sorry. And so you don't get a walkthrough for life. You can't just go on YouTube.com, and I can't, I can't go on there and go like, huh, I wonder what I... I, I know what to do. I'm going to search up Shadow Link in 1907 life walkthrough. All right, now what should I do when I... am 18, should I go to this college or this college or this college? Which one would I be more successful at? And like, no, there's no such thing as a life walkthrough. Although I kind of wish there was. So I could just cheat life in a sense. And just always like, yeah, you know, I'm so successful. Yeah, I just, uh, I didn't watch a walkthrough in my life or anything. But, you know, just really successful because I'm just good at making choices on crap, you know. Like, I kind of wish I could do that, but you know what? Nobody's able to do that, so it sucks. So basically, in a summarized version of what I just said, you're stuck in a game where your storyline is already set. However, your storyline is broken up into millions and millions and millions, basically an infinite amount of branches that control your life. But how you get through said branches, the path, basically the path that you take is all determined on your decisions. It's all based on your decisions, the actions that you take, and the people that you interact with. Also, you don't know what what path to take for the right path. There is no walkthrough guide for your life and or anyone else's. But no matter what path you take, no matter what decisions you choose, even though if they were all the right decisions, they will all lead to one common thing, and that would be death. So that was probably the best way I could explain that. Now some of you may be asking, Shadow, how, how do you even believe this? How, how'd you come up with this theory? How did you come to come with your beliefs like this? Like, what? I, I'm so confuzzled right now. I, I don't get. Well, whether you're confused or not, I'll be able to explain this as well and hopefully not confuse the fuck out of anybody anymore because your minds are probably really fucked up right now. And if you're not, if your mind isn't fucked up, well, good for you. I'm glad that we're on the same level of understanding right now. So basically how I came to believe in this, in this whole theory of mine that I developed, and it's not like I could just pull this stuff off of Google. Let's go into Google Chrome. Uh, what is life? And that pops up. If that pops up, I'm, I'm claiming full credit on that right now. But anyways, back to serious talk. How did I come into believing in this whole mind-fucking theory of mine? Well... Basically, 
based off of my life experiences, the things I have listened to, the things I have watched, the resources that I've been gathering and whatnot through my life to obtain more knowledge, really just affected my way of thinking. And I just start thinking really, really hard about, like, what is life? Why? Why? Why am I even here? Like, what is going on? I, and I just come up with, with these crazy things in my mind. Like, what if things were to go like this? And you know what? This is basically my hugest, one of my, one of my hugest things I think about a lot now. It's like, my life is based off of whole, just completely events that are predetermined, except which events that happen is based off the decisions I make and everything else. Like, wow. That, that makes actual sense to me like i can't believe it like so, a lot of things I, I just think about and my whole mind cannot come into agreement about it. like no this is this shadow you're you're full of shit what the hell are you doing but in this case you know what me and my mind and everyone in it we just we came to a full agreement here so anyways if your mind fucked please leave a comment down below and if you like this video, well, please leave a like for it. And if you're new around here and you want to see more, well, please do subscribe. Shadowlink1907, signing out.